Hey everyone, Christmas is over, but 2021 has arrived. Now I'm sure that most of us are thankful and hopeful for the start of a fresh new year. But I have to admit though, Christmas is my favorite time of the year. It's always been a bit sad when, it, when it's over. See, we, we just took down the tree today. My wife's like ready for it to be out of the house. Let's get it out. She took down all the decorations. She moves quick. And I just stood there like kind of like just stood there watching this all unfolding before me looking at the the pine needles spread out on the floor where the tree used to be and I just just sadness is creeping all over me but that's just how I am but the good thing is there's always next year now here's the question that we always ask of others just right after Christmas so what did you get for Christmas and that is what I want to talk about today I want to tell you what I got for Christmas so stay tuned. All right, so for the mountain biker, Christmas time becomes a time for getting gear. So what kind of mountain biking gear did you get? Now don't worry, I'm not one of those guys who was expecting, nor did I get a new bike under the tree. That's just not going to happen. But I did get some new gear. So I wanted to take a brief moment to share with you all what I got. Now my kids chipped in this year and got me the Osprey Savu Waste Pack. Guys, my kids, thank you so much, guys. I love you all. Thank you for the gift. So here it is. The Osprey Savu waste pack. Well, let's just get this out of the way first. It's really a fanny pack, but let's call it a waste pack, all right? I, I just can't do a fanny pack. Let's call it a waste pack. I think the technical term is actually lumbar pack. I think that works good. Anything but a fanny pack. Those are fanny packs or 80s. Let's call it the lumbar pack or a waste pack. So they got me this Osprey Savu waste pack. It's pretty nice. I've been looking forward to getting this for a while. See, I have, I've ridden a, with a full backpack for most of the time I've been mountain biking and just especially in the hotter times even when it's not hot my entire back is covered by the pack and it's just so hot and it's just so sweaty and it's so uncomfortable and straps are constantly flapping in the wind with my when I have my GoPro on the chest mount they're constantly flapping and getting in the way so I was really looking forward to this I haven't used it yet obviously the the tags are still on it but uh, I'll do a, probably a full later a view, review of this later, maybe even comparing it to the backpack, which I have. But I'm really excited to try this out, this Osprey Savu. And it's uh, it's got some mesh there. It looks pretty good. I like the colors. You can get two water bottles here as opposed to uh, the other, the Serral, the Osprey Serral, which actually has a... Uh, the uh, bladder the water bladder i didn't want the water bladder just because that's what i have with the backpack and i wasn't sure that would really be helpful or not so i decided to take a shot and go with the savu and i'm really excited that my kids bought it for me so i'm looking forward to trying this out like i said i'll probably do a further review a little more detailed review after i've actually had it out on the trails for a little bit but i haven't had it out yet so it'll have to wait for that all right, the second thing I got, and I got this from my parents, the Fidlock water bottle. Now, my parents picked up this for me, so thank you guys, really appreciate it. I have to admit, and they even said it too, uh, the size is a little smaller. I was expecting something a little bigger. I believe this is 600 milliliters, so it holds about uh, less than a third of what my backpack held. But again, the backpack, the the new Savu will will hold two additional bottles. So between this one and two additional bottles, that should be enough. I'm hoping that will be enough to, uh, yeah. I mean, that's we're talking almost two liters there, a liter and a half, two liters. That should be more than enough for water. The thing I like about this, which is pretty cool, is that uh, it has this. It's a magnetic system. Hopefully, you can see here. So here's the magnet you put on the bike and then you just pop this on and you can see even right there it's it's a pretty strong magnet system. So right there it pulls off and snaps in place. So pretty cool. The question is how will this work on the trail? 
not so much will it keep me hydrated as much as what's gonna happen the first time I crash because you all know I'm gonna crash and hopefully in the week next week or two I'll have a crash video out from 2020 so looking forward to that working on that one still but how will this hold up when I crash how will this hold up on the bumps and the drops that I hit will this stay on that's what we'll have to see so looking forward to using this though it's pretty cool i wish it was yeah i don't know i wish it was a little bit taller a little bit bigger held a little bit more water but it's a pretty cool system one more time just because it's pretty fun yeah that's pretty cool all right so the last gift i got well is this shirt again from my parents I'm not exactly sure what's going on with this like i don't know this circle sort of thing here the cool thing is it's a guy riding, a, I'm assuming it's a guy, riding a mountain bike. We'll, we'll put me into the story. It's me riding the mountain bike, and of course he's going uphill. So is he riding into the sunset, or I kind of took it as he's riding like to his death. Like he's dying, he's trying to get up the hill, he's huffing, and he's puffing, and, and this whole raise of, of this is him exasperating, exhausted, and worn out, and huffing, and puffing, and panting, and dying, trying to get up the hill, because that's pretty much what I do. That's me getting up the hill, it's like despair, and exhaustion, and weariness setting in as you're trying to get up the hill, pedaling, and you end up saying, okay, I gotta hike a bike this, but that's probably more accurate for me because like guy riding into the sunset tearing up uphill that's just not me but it's a really nice shirt it fits really well i'm excited to have it i am hard on t-shirts so hopefully this shirt will last for a while but it feels good and um hopefully maybe a little bit this year i'll get a little better going uphill so well that's what i got for christmas those are the things i got excited about actually getting out the trails once the the trails dry out it's quite wet around here so as soon as the trails dry out a little bit we're going to hit the trails with the new fidlock water bottle with the new backpack with my bike shirt and going to ride so looking forward to it looking forward to what 2021 has with riding so let me know in the comments what you guys all got for christmas curious to hear and but the, if you got a new bike though i don't want to know because I'll just be super jealous, but let me know what y'all got in the comments, and we will catch you later. Thanks for watching. See ya. Hey everyone. Well, Christmas is over. 2020 has arrived. 2020. Pfft. Let's start over. <laughs>